Hi guys, so we thought we'd just come and give you a little bit of an update. Uh, we didn't end our last vlog last night because we were just exhausted. Yeah, we were knackered work when we got back yeah. from the airport and stuff. So our flight with Virgin was delayed a bit, not massively, but it was like an afternoon flight anyway. So by the time we landed, it was about 10 to 7, 7 o'clock. And then, yeah. you know, we had to get through costumes, security, and that did take a while yesterday. Not mega. I think we were out and at Alamo by about 10 eight, past 10, 8. 10 past yeah. 8, we got the car, yeah. So then we're back to the villa for about 9. And then, again, you know, went shopping, went to Walmart, grabbed some essentials, all that stuff. And then Alfie just crashed out. He was mm -hmm. exhausted. But to be fair to him, he made it till like 11 o'clock last night, which for him would have been like 4 in the morning. Yeah. So we did pretty well. So this morning we had like, we were all up anyway, so we had like a nice leisurely breakfast in celebration at Downtown Diner. Can't recommend it enough. We love it there. It was good from there. It was so good. And then we went to Universal. We didn't really do any rides or anything today. We just went on a quick, like a leisurely walk round and, you know, do a bit of shopping, grab some new lanyards for tomorrow because we're going back with express passes. So we had a really nice afternoon there, but then it absolutely chucked it down. Yeah, it didn't stop raining for a <laughs> no. while and now it's raining again and we're like going out to Disney now. Yeah, there's thunderstorms, there's lightning. So, you know, we are keeping our fingers crossed for this mm. evening. We've got a Disney experience booked tonight, which is like a Disney after hours. So we turn up at Hollywood Studios the 7 p.m. The five of us are going and it runs until one o'clock in the morning. So for the first couple of hours, fair enough, the park's open to everyone. Yeah. But then after about 9, 9.30, when the park closes to like the general pass holders and everybody else, it is just the after dark like event going on. So the ride times are supposed to be really low and you can go on yeah. them like as many so as you can. It's about five or six rides open for it. I think there's more I think there's Is like that... nine rides oh, yeah right. so mostly star wars ones are open you've got like your slinky dog ride um there's a couple more on the toy mm. story side there's the mickey and minnie's one um but we'll find out exactly when we get yeah, there yeah. what's open tara terra dead excited mm. about going on that i think the aerosmith one was meant to be open but it's temporarily like closed well permanently closed at the moment while they're doing something to it yeah. I'm not sure when that's meant to be open but i don't think that'll be on the cards tonight so mm -hmm. it's like quarter five now we're gonna go just grab some dinner before we go into the park so we're gonna head over to sickies yeah. which is near windsor hills where we're staying and we did visit there last time it's really good it's just like you know burgers, burgers. chilled atmosphere yeah. good food nice people so we're gonna go have some dinner and then we're gonna head to disney and just just see where it takes us mm. and you know pray see the weather holds out if it's go for a walk around disney if none of the rides are open yeah, yeah. If, if nothing else we get a night in disney so yeah. we'll go and see what we can do oh. fingers crossed oh. we'll you catch up Hollywood Studios, our first Disney World experience. It's raining. He's raining. It's raining a lot. Um, me and my mum are in ponchos. Alfie has opted out with the boys. So let's go queue up and come on in. Ooh, Looks busy. So this is a quick update of what attractions will be open tonight and any food, beverages, kind of what you get with it, merchandise, what shops you can do and what entertainment is on tonight, projection shows, character experiences, merchandise. And we are in. Oh my god. So excited, like overly excited. <laughs> oh my god, giant coming in. It's quite busy now because we've literally just 
got through the door with the queue, but I think once everyone disperses, it won't be that bad. Should we go have a look in? Yeah, let's go have a look in Mickey's shop. Let's go. What do you think, Al? Are we excited? Poncho boy. Turn around. Look at that. Ponchos for everyone. You've got it on as well, so don't I do. get too much. That is good. <laughs> Carry on wandering around now. First ride in Disney. Startles, oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's do this. First Disney ride. Oh. Star Tours, 1401, you are cleared for departure. 1401. That's us. We can't take off. The captain isn't on board. Auto takeoff sequence initiated. Oh, no. Um, excuse me. You don't seem to understand. I am not the captain. I am C3. Radio to know what? Clear for takeoff. Contact departure on frequency 429. Wait! Wait! R2D2, I am not programmed to fly these things. Now just turn us around this instant before we get into trouble. Don't shoot. I know you have a spy on board. Yeah. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. He's a spy and a traitor to the First Order. I have never... Oh, 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 Star Tours, what are you doing here? Then stay close. If you want to stay alive, you're going to need some cover. What do you think, Alex? Very good. Alright, we've just been on there. Loved it. Star Tours. What do you think? Absolutely loved it. It was so good. God, there's the Millennium Falcon. Let's go and investigate. This is amazing. Let's see what queue times are like. Let's go and smash it.
Story Land. What's the shooting one called in Toy Story Land? Can anybody remember? Uh, Toy Story Land. Uh, no, uh, Toy Story Land, that's where we are. But yeah, we want that one. We want Slinky Dog. And we want a beverage. Let's go find a drink. I got 1,000 dog kills in that as well. What ride was that on? The Millennium Falcon. Yeah, you got to be a gunner, didn't you? You weren't a very good pilot. I was not a very good pilot, but I did not volunteer for that role. I was. It was enforced. Forced upon it was forced upon me. So you know. Being a pilot. Next I know. I've been demoted to engineer next time. I'll sit at the back of the plane and just press the odd button. That's all I get to do now. Do what numbers? Yeah. Say cheese. <laughs> no hands.
flight sequence on deck three from the car. we'd give a little review on all our thoughts of the Disney's after hours event that we went to so we booked tickets pretty much near towards the end of May for when we went for Disney's Hollywood Studios after hours event mm -hmm. so it is a separate ticketed event from the day tickets or your annual passes um, we bought tickets for £133 each from attraction tickets online in the UK um, probably would be a little bit more expensive buying them from Disney directly. Yeah, I think it's about one hundred and fifty dollars through them directly. Yeah, so you know you do save a little bit shop around for your website, so do bear that in mind when you're buying tickets. Now I know that sounds quite expensive, but we'll run through what we got for it. So mm. for us, we didn't really have the time because we were only in Florida for a week to do a full week of Disney because we'd already bought Universal tickets as well. So for us, it was a great way of actually taking the family to spend the night on all the rides at Hollywood Studios. So we do enjoy rides and we enjoyed all the scenery. I think pros, definitely the queue times. Oh my God, unbelievably low. It was really quick, weren't it, getting on all the rides and stuff? Yeah, most rides were a walk on. At best, maybe a five, 10 minute wait. I think the longest we waited was on the Slinky Dog ride for about 45 minutes. Mm. However, that was technically before the event started. So let's yeah. run through how it works. So you buy your ticket and the technical time that you can enter on your ticket was about seven o'clock in the evening. Seven o'clock, enter time in it. Mm. Yeah, so the event runs till one o'clock in the morning. So you can enter from 7 p.m. but the park is still open till about 9.30. So from as soon as you can enter you can go on any rides that are still open you can go in all the shops you can buy any merch you can go have something to eat so it's all open to you still when the park closes at around about 9 30 they then get all the day ticket holders out and it's just the evening event guests that get to stay yeah. so from 10 p.m the ride queues the times are just amazing there's hardly any wait times and disney keep the rides flowing really well there was about eight rides that were open to us for the evening. Um, so all the main Star Wars ones were open. There was a few rides in Toy Story Land. So Slinky Dog, one of the Buzz Lightyear. Oh God, what was it called now? Uh, 
Like the, like the space one. shooty one. Yeah. Uh, Tower of Terror, which we absolutely loved, as you did can that see. Twice, we? About we did. 10 minutes straight on and straight back off. Yeah. yeah. We literally walked onto Tower of Terror, got off, and walked back around and did it a second time. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't feel my legs afterwards, but it was fantastic. Yeah, it was one thing we did do is take advantage of during the Fantasia show. So the Fantasia show was still on as normal in the evening about nine o'clock. And although we probably would like to see that one day, mm. the park queues went so quiet during the show. Rides were just literally walk on and off. So we did use that time well. Um, we got to go on all the rides at least twice, if not three times, some of them that we wanted to. Um, you do get a couple of free snacks included. So the Mickey's ice cream bars, free popcorn, drinks free drinks. Well, that, yeah, yeah like and that's a big coke, thing. Diet Coke, waters. Yeah, and I've noticed one thing I think is a pro of Universal compared to Disney is that they have the freestyle Coke machines. So you can, you know, refillable water as much as you want. And then obviously you do have the option to buy a day's worth of like your fizzy drinks and yeah, juices and ices, your refills. Whereas Disney don't really seem to offer that. If they do when we've missed it, please let us know in the comments because mm. that is one big downside we've saw of Disney. They have got water fountains, but I will admit some of them don't taste great. Some of them tasted proper like mm, sewage style water. Yeah, it wasn't the nicest. Great. That was more at Magic Kingdom though, weren't it? That was at Magic Kingdom. We noticed that. But you know, it would be better if they had proper water vending machines or even if they put an offer on like you know you do for universal where you buy your refillable cup and then you can just you know fill up at the stations around mm. the park i think one thing you know which was an advantage like we said of hollywood studios is we got free drinks for the evening whereas yeah. we spent a ton of money on drinks for magic kingdom that day yeah i mean it was only about was it weren't bang on the time where it was about 10 o'clock when it became the free drinks you yeah had to pay for them before that that is a good point so while the park is still open until the event officially starts at 10 p.m you do have to pay for your drinks and snacks well, i think it's supposed to be at nine or nine thirty it's officially shutting but we don't yeah. get the drinks until we know we've got everyone else out the park so you haven't got yeah. people with day tickets going up and getting a free drink that's true because to get your free drinks and snacks they didn't actually even like check our wristbands they didn't check anything they just have stalls open and you just grab what you'd like off the stalls mm. so i suppose the only way for them to control that is to make sure all the actual day park guests are out and it is just the event guests in the evening yeah. um i know it was probably one aspect of it 133 pound a person i suppose it's quite expensive for an evening event mm. but what i would say is that the park is really quiet they don't have anywhere near the amount of day guests you would have in so you do get that time to get your pictures you do have time to have a really good look around without it being mega crowded um you like i said your rides are pretty much a walk on and you don't have to wait long even if there is a little bit of a queue so in terms of that stuff you even though you're only getting maybe half the time of the day guests you maximize that time so well yeah. i think we went on star wars star tours like three times yeah, we did Star Tours three times. How many times did we do Rise of Resistance? Rise of Resistance, I think we only did once. Right, yeah. Um, then we did one of the other Star Wars rides. Um, oh my Falcon, God, we are... Falcons. Millennium Falcon one, yeah. yeah. We are terrible Smugglers with the names. Run. Smugglers, Smugglers run. run, we did that a couple of times as well. Did we do it like four times? Because one time it broke down. <laughs> yeah, I think we did that three times because we went on it once, loved it. So later on in the evening we went on it again. But it did break down on us towards the end. Oh. We thought we broke it. So then we just went straight back round on it again. Mm. Um, so yeah, we did Tower of Terror twice. Yeah. We did a couple of the like Buzz Lightyear ones twice, Slinky yeah. Dog. Um, we had a good walk around the park, so it was really nice to see the theme in Star Wars Land. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Alfie loved that. Like, And to be fair, it was good for all ages because we had my mum and dad with us as well. And there was enough rides there that they would go on. Yeah, and so they we went on. Really, didn't it, for yeah, ride -wise. They went on everything except Tower of Terror with mm. us. So we left them in like Toy Story Land on other rides and having a drink while we then went and the only smashed ride Tower we of didn't Terror. Do was Disney's runaway train. Oh it? yeah, good point. Mickey. So Mickey and Minnie's runaway train was open. Um, we didn't actually go on that, but I think that's. It wasn't that the ride queues were high for it. It was just that 
because of what rides we liked and what the family liked we were enjoying the star wars side yeah. of it and the tower of terror and stuff so much we never actually went open and we did stay till about 12 30 12 45 like we did mm. the entire event and made the that most of our time well, it, so. it was so we landed on the tuesday and then on the Wednesday, we had, you know, we went out for breakfast, had a little walk around Universal. Then we did go back and chill at the villa for a couple of hours before the event. So we had had a full on day and we still made it till one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But yeah, I would highly recommend yeah, Disney's definitely. after hours events. Yeah. I think we definitely got our money's worth. You get to see so much of Disney without it being absolutely rammed packed. And you know what, especially if you don't have, you know, a week's ticket, weeks pass or two week passes while you're there it's a great way of getting a little bit of disney magic in just for the night um they do different after hours park events different times of the year so for the time we went in may it was hollywood studios i think so at the time of this video now it's the beginning of july and i think the epcot after hours event is on is yeah so i think i think this month and next month is epcot and then after that, I don't know whether it's because they roll into maybe Disney's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. Mm -hmm. So do check online and see what parks are offering, what after hours for each month. Yeah. The after hours event was only on one day of a week every week. And that was, Wednesday. yeah, that was a Wednesday for yeah. us. So don't get me wrong, we probably would have liked to have done it not quite after the day we've landed. So we weren't maybe as tired, but it was either do it on the Wednesday or don't get to do it at all. So we just powered through it, didn't we? Yeah. But you kind of forget how tired you are till you're leaving mm. and it was like even going in at that time was great for parking you do still have to pay for parking though 25 dollars yeah um, it's we, cheaper than universal's parking it well. is universal was 30 dollars when we went and i know that's gone up a little bit because it was 27 but it's just an expensive for parking isn't it mm. but you know what it is what it is you want to go to the theme parks that's mm -hmm. something you you just have to pay and I suppose that's the other advantage of being maybe an annual annual pass holder but you know that's something else to look into as well if you do visit them frequently um any questions anything you want to know put it in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer all the questions for you um if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and we'll have lots more coming up for you very soon all right bye bye